Normally I do this from at home, but I figure I just, this just can't wait, okay? I'm at my school office here in my history classroom, but I have got to tell you all about my day today, okay? Okay, first of all, it's Halloween, all right? Kids are gonna be crazy, of course. That's a typical school thing for anybody else. But let me tell you something. This entire day was just crazy, okay? How crazy, you ask? We had, let me see my list here. We had a total of about seven kids. Seven kids today came up here wearing puppet mask, jigsaw costumes, that pig face mask that whatever John Kramer uses right there. That's what was used today for a lot of Halloween costumes. And our principal told us, if you see kids wearing or dressing up or dressing anything like going on today, flag them down, give them to take it down. And a handful of kids, you know, the kids are going to be kids, they're going to act that way, they're going to be dumb and act opinionated. Some got in trouble, some just listen right off the bat. But that's not the part right here. Of course, that's just typical kids' behavior and stuff right here in the city. But here's what happened today. I have a total of seven class periods, or I'm in the middle of just grading papers here at work. And what happened was, for the first time today, like every single kid here came up to here, and every single kid in each classroom all raise your hand, and the first question that came out of their mouth is, who is Jigsaw? Who is John Kramer? Why is he killing people? And these kids don't know. They don't know the history about John Kramer. And it's up to people like me to have to tell them and explain this to them. Not their parents, it's usually the school teachers. Because some parents are not gonna explain it to him, oh, he's just a killer go home. But who is he? I mean, people want to know, and who, when they want to come to history, who do they come to? The history teacher. That's me. Now, why did I become a history teacher? Well, you know, it started off, you know, you know, where it has those little moments where teachers have one of those called aha moments, where it's all of a sudden you realize, this is what I want to do with my life, okay? When I was about, you know, in high school, one of my passions was history. I mean, I loved it. I loved history. You know, my history teacher in high school, Mr. McFarland, he was a great guy. Loved World War II, loved Civil War, loved anything historical moments that happened right there. But also, like I say, I was fascinated with the characters and the people that helped influence history. People like Abe Lincoln, George Washington, FDR, all the stuff like that. But also, I was fascinated with the criminal organizations back in the day as a side project. Yeah, people such as, you know, Al Capone, Ted Bundy. John Dillinger. It doesn't have to involve crime. It could be like cult leads such as, you know, Charles Manson or even something as simple as the Zodiac Killer. And then when the Jigsaw killings happened when I was a kid, that just made me want to learn even more about the guy. And that's why I went to the Jigsaw Rules website to learn more about him, to understand him, to figure out who he is and what his motivations are. Not like how he kills people because how John Kramer kills people was done back throughout the Dark Ages. All right, it's the motivations behind them, and so when my day started, I have seven class periods. First hour class, I have like you know ten people in that class, and then they all come in, they all raise their hands, it's like you know, did you hear about the jigsaw killings, Mr. Walton? It's like, what can you tell us? And kids were equal to learn and stuff like that. But as I said, when I went back to being a history teacher, I decided, you know what? This should be fun. This should be fascinating. You know, all these history facts right here that people want to learn and understand with. And I had that passion for history, okay? The same passion I had for history goes through every other kid's. But after, like, the first year, you know, yeah, so I'm ready to take on the world. So I get hired at this school right here, and I'm excited. I'm ready to take on the world. I'm ready to show all these kids here in junior high and high school all about history, everything that I'm passionate about, I want to share it to them, and I'm hopefully they become passionate. Well, this is year four of teaching, and unfortunately, when I, based on my experience, a lot of kids here are not as passionate about history as I am. You get a few kids that want to learn about history, but probably about seven or eight kids out of ten just aren't that interested, and they're just here to learn it, get through the day, and move on to you know, next hour's class, which most next hour's class is algebra. Which you would think kids should be more excited to learn about my class rather than algebra, but I digress. So, during that first hour, I have all these kids come up to me, and they all raise their hands, they're asking questions. 
who's John Kramer? Who is Jigsaw? Why does he use a doll? Why is there a tricycle? Why does he have torture devices? Why does he have a pig mask? All these questions right here. And then I got to the point where, you know, you do what you're supposed to do as a teacher. You're supposed to, like, you know, move on, get the kids back on your subject. We got quiz and fry that we got to take care of. And I know a lot of these kids just aren't ready for it, but I'm trying my best to get them on the curve. But within my next couple hour classes, same thing. Kids come in. They raise their hand. Who's Jigsaw? Who's John Kramer? Why does he use the traps? What's with the doll? And everything like that. And it got to the point where, okay, well, I'm not, I can't ignore the entire day like this. Kids are coming in and literally, as soon as one kid in third hour raised their hands like, Coach, my dad, who's been in jail several times, just got out a couple years ago. He's drinking again. He's becoming an alcoholic. He's being abusive. I'm staying at my grandparents' house. I am afraid that Jigsaw is going to go after him. What do you say to a kid like that? Am I going to be here and tell the kids, don't worry, your dad is going to be fine. Don't worry, John Kramer's not going to go after people like that. When deep down, you know those are the kind of people that John Kramer wants to help. He wants to help them. Not to explain to kids, he's not there to kill people. He is there to help them. And it got to the point where it was, how do you justify that? How do you justify a serial killer's accents? How do you... How do you it's just nuts. But then I decided on third, I was like, okay, kids, here's everything I know about John Kramer. I'm going to tell you everything about him. I'm going to tell you what all I know, my personal experiences, what happened to all the people that were affected by him and stuff like that. Did they die gruesomely? Did some people survive his traps? What happened to those people who survived those traps? Everything that I could think of. I would bounce off and tell his kids. And they and escalate from them. Kids would ask, well, who's this person? Who, who's this Amanda Young? Who's this Mark Hoffman? Uh, were they involved? Did he believe? How many people survived the traps? And it got to the point where we're already like 30, 30 minutes into the class, and I'm still answering questions. And then kids all around, they went from being fear to now growing a more sense of understanding. And then come to think of it, the same thing happened in the fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour classes. We just spent the entire day talking about everything that I knew about the guy to try to help calm the kids' fears about him and try to understand and try to tell them he is not there to kill you. He is there to help people understand. And if you appreciate your life, if you ignore your detractors, you embrace every day as if it was your last. And if you embrace each other and just be a good person all together, then that's what John Kramer would want. And to see kids, you know, go come to the classroom in a state of fear to now leaving, hoping, and I'm hoping that I've calmed their fears and educated them and explained to them who he is and what his ideology beliefs are. Come to think of it, Today was actually probably one of the most impactful days I've had as a history teacher. I mean, kids came in, they were engaged, they wanted to learn more about the subjects. I didn't have any discipline problems today. I just hope I get that box soon.